Okay. Uh, so the nine central concepts here. Uh, before we you know get started, uh, I need to tell you one more time. Uh, these concepts here. Not only we will um, study them in the first chapter, they will be applicable throughout the entire curriculum. Okay, all right. So make sure you always remember, uh, you know, what the um, nine central concepts are, and also how you can apply those concepts into different theories. All right, that's more important. How you can apply those nine concepts into different theories throughout the entire curriculum. Okay. All right. So yeah. So now you have nine concepts. I'm I'm just gonna quickly go through, uh, you know, each of them, and that's all. Okay. All right. I hope you still remember the nine of them. Okay. So here I'm just gonna give you some cases, and we are trying to apply different uh, concepts into the cases. Cool. Okay. So. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure you are aware of uh, the news recently. And uh, you know, here we're talking about Hong Kong once again. Uh, we are all experiencing uh, COVID nineteen right now, and you know our government is doing something for um, you know the producers. Okay, there is a um, scheme, a supporting scheme for uh, the workers and also you know the producers. All right. So the question I have here for you guys is, you know, is our government giving enough support to the employment? due to this virus here okay so I'm, I'm not going to ask you to read the article here because uh, I have just extracted uh, you know something from there for discussion so here uh, is the extraction okay uh, so the new measures talking about you know the supporting scheme for the employees and employers okay only support the existing workforce uh, so that they won't get laid off Okay, uh, well, you know, this is the guy who is being uh, unemployed. Yeah? Uh, and then, what about those of us who are already jobless? Okay, yeah? So here is the question. So why can't the government provide support to the existing workers and redundant workers at the same time uh, caused by COVID-19? Yeah, so why can't the government do it? And someone just quickly, you know, tell me should be a very straightforward question so why can't they do both at the same time so now yeah only the people who are still working can get the benefits but if you have already lost your job because of the virus then you will not get the benefit so why can't they do it okay limited money oh so macro is here I guess I'm going to yeah Limited uh, money. Okay, so I, I guess uh, Katrina you're talking about scarcity like uh, Sarah mentioned there, right? Yes yeah, Scarcity and the government budget and you know, you know what? Yeah, you guys all have um, the, the right idea. Well, uh, it may not be you know a selfish government uh, government budget. So here the main point I'm trying to uh, say is Because we have limited resources. It's that simple. Okay yeah, no matter no matter where you go, okay, which country that 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 you know you you in, okay, you always see the same problem, uh, especially for the moment right now, okay. So um, yeah, and and that's why you know you cannot really blame the government uh, why they are not helping both of the people, okay, because you know we are all experiencing scarcity, okay. Even if you go to uh, uh, um, uh, Italy, well, the government they will they will say the same thing. Okay, we are going to prioritize those people who are vulnerable to the virus, and you know, for those other people, you can just wait. If you're not dead by then, then good for you. You you know, yeah, it's not cruel at all. Okay, because you know, we we just have scarcity, and that's why. Yeah, so this is you know you, you know what I'm trying to say. The concept that uh we will be applying if we're using uh this one here. Okay, so um, yeah, so when you're looking at different news, different articles, you can always uh, find your connection between uh, the news and also the concepts here, all right, because they are so important. Because you know, this one here, this concept part here, is especially uh, targeting your uh, internal assessment, uh, which is your IA, all right. So for your IA, you must apply uh, at least one concept into uh, the news article that you are trying to uh, 
analyze and uh, evaluate okay so you know here is just an example how you can you know ap apply a, a news article into the concept that you want to talk about all right okay yeah so here well very obvious uh, is going to be scarcity right here okay and from scarcity you can also you know when you're trying to elaborate you can use another concept as well so choice okay so you can talk about yeah because of scarcity and that's why they have to choose so here in this case what did they choose so in this case what did they choose can someone just you know quickly answer the question so for the concept of choice what did they choose from this case yeah so they gave up on the unemployed okay and they focus on the people who are still working so they you know they get the benefits all right so you, you know is the concepts here they are so flexible so this is what I'm trying to get you to understand all right it, it doesn't have to be uh, when you're talking about one concept it has to be one individual uh, or, 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 or separate case okay it doesn't have to be right it depends on uh, you know inside a case which context you are trying to focus on yeah this is more important when you're trying to uh, uh, apply the concepts into you know the news articles so in this case it depends on which context you're trying to focus so you may you may focus on scarcity or you may focus on you know choice here okay so this is just one very quick um, example for you so now we will get to um, you know the real um, exercise that we are trying to do okay so we will go to uh, this part here so uh, now I want you guys to focus on the theme okay I'm just gonna give you a theme uh, which is climate change and um, so let's watch the video here first and we will do some discussion okay so watch it anyone okay burning fossil fuel yeah lack of sustainability okay right yeah dumping uh, plastic you know yeah people human okay yeah I, I, I like all those answers okay right but why do we have to you know burn so much fossil fuel why do we have to uh, 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 use so much plastic why do we have to you know pollute the air or ocean why do we have to do it we're not sustainable enough production unlimited ones yeah okay so you see here it's all because of uh, you know the desire from people all right and the desire of people creates economic growth okay and you see some contradiction here okay so when we are talking about sustainability right here so you know people uh, in the chat you talk about sustainability but what is sustainability can you quickly define what what that is can you just explain it to the class very very quickly like what is it oh okay okay so here uh, i prefer the answer from uh, jago okay so you know using resources that will not damage or harm future generations so that's what we call sustainable uh, uh, anything uh, anyone who would like to explain it uh, further so what kind of balance should we strike in our world or in our society okay okay considering uh, you know the social aspect the economic aspect and also the environmental aspect all right so all together so you will find sustainability right here okay all right yeah so we're trying to find a balance among the three items you know in the chat okay so that's what we call sustainability so that uh, in the you know future generations people can still enjoy what we are consuming you know right now that's sustain uh, sustainability but what about economic well-being? What what does it mean by that? 
economic well-being? Yeah, if you know the answer, just feel free, you know, just throw some answers here. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be like the very official um, definition as long as you're using your own words to, you know, interpret the concept. Yeah, that's all it that matters. So economic well-being, can someone give me um, an idea like what it means here, economic well-being? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So you know, yeah. So we go back to uh, the status, you know, the satisfaction from um, uh, our wants. Okay. So with that being said, it's all about economic growth. So when people, when when the country, uh, when different countries, they are having economic growth. So obviously, people they having a higher living standard, you know, quality of life. You know, if that's the case, they are more able to enjoy uh, different goods, right? Normal goods, luxuries, uh, goods. So the economic well-being will increase. Okay, right? So you know, like after uh, watching the video, uh, w would you wonder, like, can sustainability and economic well-being coexist? Can they exist at the same time? Because you know, when you think about this. Right at at the first time uh, when we talk about you know what happened to uh, the video, yeah, what causes climate change, we answer it was because of production. It was because of economic growth, and then we you know we know the um, definition of economic well-being. So when we combine the both concepts together, can they coexist? So this is my question: Can they coexist? Okay, so Jago believe uh, they do not co uh, they do not coexist. Uh, it's down to opportunity cost and choice. I think that is a very good answer. Uh, and Krieger believes that uh, you know it can. Well, that that's also true. You know, you know, yeah. Uh, so Katrina saying yes, but not without some amount of yeah compromising. Uh, I think you know, three of you, you when you combine everything together, your idea is brilliant. Okay, so this is what we are looking for right here. Uh, you know, in some extent, uh, I think yes. Okay, all right, because you know, if you are if you are able to give up something in each aspect that we um, just discussed, you know, the social, the economic, and environmental, you will be able to strike a balance. And I believe this is what uh, Jago is trying to point out. Okay, uh, so you know, so in this case here, when we go down. Not only we can use this uh, climate change as a theme to talk about sustainability, to talk about economic well-being, but when we go down the road, you will see we can even talk about scarcity and also choice right here in one theme. Okay, so you see the you know flexibility in just one theme. It it depends on what you are trying to focus. So this is what I've been trying to uh, uh, emphasize. Okay, so you know that is good, all right. So yeah, so now we we kind of understand. Look, it can coexist in some extent, as long as we're able to strike a balance. Okay, so now uh, I'm just gonna give you another video to watch, and then um, I will have some more questions for you. Okay, so one more video. This is not a drill. My name is Greta Thunberg. We are living in the beginning of a mass extinction. Our Ooh, okay, all right. Yep, so you watched the video. Yep. So, um, well, you know, nowadays when you talk about climate change, you always see this little girl, Greta Thunberg, right? Yeah, I don't know if you know her. But you know she is one very popular uh, climate change activist. Um, you know nowadays. But you know I prefer um, Sir David. You guys saw his so uh, shows before. Sh uh, you know Sir David. No. Well, I mean, you know he, he talks about yeah he talks about like animals and plants. 
Yeah, it was so fun. Yeah, I, I used to love, you know, watching his shows back in the days, like when I was a kid. Yeah, I don't know why I had had that habit of, you know, like hobby. But yeah, they, they, they were fun to watch. So based on the two videos here, um, what are the solutions? What are the solutions to so-called sustainability based on the two um, videos that you just watched? Okay, yeah, yeah, that, that concludes uh, the second video. Can someone just give me something more solid? Like, you know, there, there are some, you know, specific uh, methods that they mention uh, that people should do. Okay, help planting uh, trees. Okay, yeah, that, that, that's cool. Okay, uh, reduce payments uh, that destroy nature. Oh, all right, all right, yeah, yeah, that's, that's also cool. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, I think based on the two videos, uh, yeah, there are so many methods being mentioned. Uh, use power as em okay, okay. Use power as consumer employee to support, yeah, environmental, uh, environmentally friendly uh, practice. Wait a second, Peter Yun, how is it possible? Why? Did anyone just see that? Peter just joined the classroom doesn't make sense well anyway okay well let's continue uh yeah stop burning uh, fossil fuel uh better management of our resources uh yeah preserve and, and protect nature oh okay yeah cool i think that that's very good yeah the ideas that you have based on the video and also uh from uh, yourselves uh but here is my another question so, all those solutions that you gave me, they will not work unless unless something happens. Unless people do them. But in what way? In what way? Yeah, it's getting there. It's get uh yeah, fund them, but you know, something more complicated. Okay? Yeah, more than if people you know, some people do you know do some of the solutions of people they uh, fund uh, those solutions ah uh, okay um official fights for those policies i think yeah okay cooperation yeah i think this is the word i'm i'm looking for yeah cooperate okay yeah cooperate yeah so compromising basically okay yeah so you see you you know from all your solutions in the chat, you know they are from different stakeholders, okay? If if only the consumers they do it, they're doing their job, it's not going to work. If only the producers they're doing the job, it's not going to work. If only the government they're doing the job, it's not going going to work. So that's why we need you know everyone work together so that we can achieve sustainability. So when we get to this one here, what kind of concept am I trying to? get to what do you think should I give you the list okay so yeah pick one uh, okay okay yeah change and uh, well you know just pick one more well sustainability we talk about that yeah right uh, yeah, it can be yeah, because you know. Well, but if you focus on government uh, intervention, that's 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 true. But when we are focusing everybody, okay, when we're focusing on everybody, so pick one. Okay, Matthew. Yeah. Okay. Right. So you see here, you see the flexibility is everywhere. Okay. It depends on where you are trying to focus. Okay. It depends on where you are trying to focus. This, you know, this is my point. All right, but when we are trying to look at everything together, all the stakeholders together, we look at independence. Okay, yep. So uh, in this case, right, independence. Okay, when everyone they can work together, consumers, companies, households, workers, governments, etc., etc. When they can work together, then we can make this happen. Otherwise, you will see like mass extinction uh, happening in the f you know near future. Well, I'm pretty sure you can you know foresee that already. Like you know, all the bushfires, 
and uh, you know different pollutions uh yeah ocean yeah you know the oil pollutions and you know so many different uh things going on every year and is destroying our world okay so interdependence so important here right and yeah you guys mentioned that as well we need to change right yeah we need to change you know our views and also understanding on economics so that sustainability can happen right if we are still using the way that we uh, uh, see economics like 200 years ago nothing can be done okay because we are still focusing on that you know kind of market economy when you focus on profit making so you always try to save your production costs okay so if you are doing that you are going to keep burning fossil fuel you are going to you know keep making uh plastic bags yeah using plastic bags etc etc so we we really need to change okay not only to change uh, what we do but also you know how we see uh the entire world how we define different concepts okay all right so you, you see here yeah just by using one theme like climate change we are able to apply basically all of the uh, uh, concepts into one theme okay all right yeah so you know so many things that different uh, stakeholders can do and government they can you know do something as well intervention but here in general right so intervention that is one of the concepts as well uh, you know an economy without government involvement so this is what we call efficiency okay based on um, um, the idea of classical economics when there's no uh, intervention when everything is based on uh, invisible hands yeah the control of invisible hands this is what we call efficiency so no resource will be wasted okay on uh, some some intervention or you know things like that so this is what we call efficiency but when you know we know that if we are focusing on purely uh, efficiency which is a market economy like a pure market economy you know it may result in some uh, failure for you know in our society like the one that we talk about sustainability that's a big one and also you know equity and economic well-being right so can someone quickly explain like why if an economy has no government involvement it may create problem for equity uh yeah samuel if, uh un, like those uh, unprofitable things uh, wouldn't be produced and and maybe like uh drugs uh cuz uh, the demand for them is high so the people will keep producing drugs and no government intervention then uh it will be bad for the uh, economy yeah. well um yeah uh wait like economically speaking it's good but it's bad for the for the population uh well that's true for the disadvantages uh when you talk about you know efficiency okay but now we are trying to focus on uh, equity here yeah equity so when we have efficiency we might have to give up on equity and why why is it the case why is it the case why you know we would have to give up equity when we focus on uh, efficiency oh, okay okay all right yep okay yeah because you know we all focus on profits right so you know the rich people they will get richer and they are going to exploit uh, uh, labor so you see all the sweatshops and um, you know yeah how they uh, uh, yeah exploit different different people right yeah uh, well but Samuel I appreciate you know the effort that, that you have yeah you know it's, it's also correct for a context like this all right yeah so equity so this is how we can see it you know the problem uh, sustainability we discussed about that uh, but what about economic well-being yeah when um, you know when when the government has no involvement sometimes we might experience some problem uh, in economic well-being so how is it possible when you know when the government has no intervention and we see 
uh, the economy is not getting better. Is it possible? Yeah, because we know that, look, when there's no government involvement, it should be efficient. But sometimes we, we also experience failure because there's no government involvement uh, so that we cannot... Yeah, yeah, recession or depression, okay, right? Yeah, because sometimes when you get to, uh, uh, you know, like recessions or even worse, depression, the economy itself may not recover itself, just like uh, Japan, like a few decades ago. If they didn't do... Uh, government intervention try to push Japan back up look they would be still experiencing uh, you know recession in that country so sometimes in some countries in some situations you know government involvement is so important to achieve economic well-being as well it depends on the situation that we have okay all right so sometimes efficiency may not be the sole uh, solution here okay all right yeah so here you can see one concept here two three four five all right so yeah it's very flexible flexible okay um, so can you guys just you know identify some policies that can potentially solve uh, you know the failure mentioned above so for equity Okay, so let's go for equity first. If you are uh, a government and you are trying to solve, you know, the problem of equity, what kind of policies would you would you make? Uh, more specifically, okay, fiscal policy. More specific, okay, macro. Yeah, minimum wage, good. Uh, progressive tax rate, that's good. Uh, price floor, yeah, uh, same concept as minimum wage, good. Uh, subsidizing different people, yeah, that's good. Uh, increase government spending on uh some vulnerable groups, I believe. Yeah, so I I, I would put vulnerable groups uh behind as well. Yeah, so that's very good. Okay, so that that's one case soft. Okay, uh, sustainability we talk about it, so you know we we're gonna skip that. Uh, what about economic well-being? Economic well-being. Well, I think, yeah, yeah. When you talk about economic well-being, what 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 would you say? What kind of policies that you would use uh, to boost up the economy? I think we we have some overlapping answers they, uh, for equity as well. Yeah, supply side policy uh, increased. Taxation that might not be true when you talk about you know trying to boost up the economy. Yeah, when you try to boost up the economy, it shouldn't be the opposite, right? Yeah, you're trying to lower the tax so that people they earn higher income, so that people they earn higher profit, right? So the economic well-being for different people will get better, right? Yeah. So here I think is is the opposite okay uh, what about monetary policies right you can also use monetary policies okay yeah so right so when you talk about those policies I would you know I would use intervention for the focus so you know you pretty much know what you should do for your uh, second IA right now okay because we have to finish three IAs in three different areas okay so in the first one we're gonna finish it for microeconomics the second one, we're going to finish it for macroeconomics. And the third one, we will finish it for international economics. Okay, and each of them, you have to focus on one different concept to discuss. Okay, so it will be a very simple uh, concept to discuss if you are trying to use intervention for macroeconomics, I would say. Okay, because, you know, based on all the ideas that, that you, you, you had, okay, you know what you would try to find for the news articles yeah and what you should discuss by then all right cool okay so yeah so there you go um so that's basically all the um concepts that we have covered uh just by using two to three cases okay all right yeah so maybe in the exam um they they might ask you something similar okay 
yeah so they might ask you to explain and apply uh, a concept maybe yeah you know yeah try to be flexible okay and explain it in detail and you should be just fine all right okay yeah cool any questions uh, well it's made by uh, the entire economic department okay yeah so we we have a division of labor okay yeah trying to make it you know efficient all right okay yeah okay uh, any questions regarding um, the central concepts the nine central concepts should be you should you know you should should be fine right yeah yeah as long as you know what they are so first of all yeah two things that you need to do you know what the concepts are and then you know how to apply the concepts into different theories okay all right yeah cool uh, any more questions questions no okay Mr. Sun, we right. wish, uh, will not be like uh, th th like there should not be any like 15 or 10 marks question like that uh, right? no 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 it's not see I told you like uh, last lesson it's not gonna be like um, uh, the past paper that you see all right yeah the end you find online okay uh, yeah, for for the essay question, it may look similar, but you know we are not assessing um, uh, the exam format. All right, that that we have. So as long as you're able to uh, explain your ideas thoroughly, that's all that matters. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah. Try to make it detail, and yeah, you should be fine. Yeah, you should be fine. Okay, so don't 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 over worry. Okay, yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, any more questions? Okay, if there's none, then we can um, go to the uh, very last part. All right, of this revision. Okay, so we still have like 15 minutes. I think we can do some group work here. So here's my question. I just made this up. Okay, uh, we'll see if you like it. Because you know what, uh, I, I don't know how much you have learned from uh, TOK, but I can tell you TOK is going to be one of the best subjects that you are going to learn, you know, uh, throughout IB. Okay, yeah, uh, as long as you, you know what you're doing. Okay, all right. So TOK, we, you know, we, t we talk about something even further. Okay, something uh, beyond what we have learned. Okay, we try to get deeper to the knowledge that we have acquired. And in this case, look, you know, this question is um, kind of peculiar. Okay, yeah, so take a look at this. So water is an essential item for our lives, right? Yeah, you know, we need to drink it. We need to use it uh, when we are brushing our teeth. We need to, you know, use it uh, when we are uh, washing our faces. Right, we need to use it for your, our laundry, etc., etc. We cannot live without water, but the thing is, it costs only a little, even though, you know, it matters so much to our lives. Okay, but on the other hand, when you look at diamond, diamond has nothing to do with our survival, and yet it's so expensive. Yeah, talking about you know like diamond rings and stuff. Okay, Tiffany and Company. Yeah, like yeah, like fifty thousand dollars for one tiny diamond. That's that's a ripoff. Okay, yeah, some something even more expensive. So, the question is, how do you explain this paradox of value using economics? Okay, well, look here. I'm just gonna uh, give you some time, right? So, uh, I'm gonna give you a link here. I think we will um, use more. Uh, this tool from now on because it's uh, it's kind of amazing uh, this tool so it's called Jamboard I'm pretty sure you have used it uh, in different subjects maybe yeah right so um, yeah so it's basically a collaboration board okay uh, so on the left hand side right here you can see uh, different tools you can you know draw something yeah you know, draw arrows and and stuff yeah you know, uh, and you have like a razor and you have you know one very nice tool uh, is a sticky note so you can put boxes uh, to construct like mind map and stuff 
okay so you know I'll, I'll show you some examples so here yeah you can create different uh, st sticky notes all right and then you can play around with the boxes okay yeah move them around and you know make them meaningful okay so uh, yeah and, and some other uh, tools as well you can upload uh, you know like images and, and, and so on yeah text box okay so, well you can use sticky notes as text box okay so it, it, here I think Jago is using the laser pen function okay well it's not for um, you know the work but yeah it's it is kind of you know useful here so um, so this is what I'm going to ask you to do okay um, so in groups of um, four to five I think yeah uh, you can work together and give me you know the answer of the question all right using the economic theories that you have learned so far well you can even use the things that you have learned you know from induction as well okay because, because yeah yeah I, I think you know which topic you should focus on for this question but when you are thinking about that that topic you know we did go through something else for that particular topic during induction so you know try to use a little more contents from you know induction as well okay so yeah so uh, you can uh, use the sticky notes as communication as well so um, yeah so maybe you can you know just put a sticky note on a page and asking a hey, yo can I join yeah and miss the Sun just like that okay all right for communication all right yeah and on uh, the middle yep yeah, here on the top you can choose different pages uh, to finish your work so once you have uh, you know get into your group you can put the names in the sticky note put it aside and you finish your work okay you can use diagram to finish the work as well okay so use the pen and draw you know yeah you know those diagrams that you have been drawing so many times um, yeah last year or so okay so yeah all right cool okay so I'm just gonna leave it to you guys for the rest of the time and I think we will discuss it uh, in the next lesson okay all right so if you cannot finish it uh, you know f here then it will become a homework okay for you all right so yeah so now yeah just go ahead and uh, form your groups okay yeah just like this right and start working Uh, no okay uh, and I think I'm going to uh, put this page on the jam board as well uh, so right here put this yeah yeah I know my computer is so slow uh, free okay yeah cool all right, so stop drawing, please, and let's get to work. Okay. Yeah, it's here. All right. So the question is on page one. Yeah. So in case you want some more hints, uh, I would say uh, focus on demand and supply, <laughs> demand and supply, and uh, positively um, marginal utility as well. Yeah, marginal utility or sometimes uh, marginal benefit. Okay, yeah, they they are pretty much the same.
So while you're working on uh, the question, so here's a little story for you guys. This question here is actually adapted from, um, you know, our big daddy, Adam Smith. Yeah. So this question, yeah, has been, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, explained by different economists throughout so many years, and people they are still trying to, you know, explain this. Okay. So while you are trying to explain it using economic theory, so you, you know, try to get it even deeper. When you finish your explanation, when you finish your uh, analysis, when you look at your answers, what are they lack of? Yeah, when you're trying to explain uh, the question, something is is um, is missing throughout so many years, throughout 200 or 300 years that people uh, from economics, they haven't discussed at all. Yeah, so this is some TOK stuff that you can, you know, think about. Yeah, otherwise people would be solving the case, right? They, they would have solved the case already. So there must be something missing for so many years, for, for 200, three years, uh, 300 years. And that's why people are still trying to answer the question. All right? Yeah.